Hey everyone, happy new year. Hope you all are well. I'm starting off by priming the eye area and to do that I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I've just squeezed a little of this onto the back of my hand, dipped my brush into it and now I'm spreading it across the eye area anywhere that I'll be adding shadow to make sure it lasts all day long. I'm then taking the Wet n Wild Colour Icon Lights Off eyeshadow palette for today and the first shade I'm taking is that light grey. I'm picking this up on a Coastal Scents BR 250 blending brush. It's just a nice sized brush for adding a transition colour into the crease. And I'm starting by lightly tapping this down on the outer edge of the eye. Then I'm looping it up into the crease and then gradually I'll make my way across it. So just tap it down on the outer portion of the eyelid right at that lash line and then I just start to angle it upwards uh, into the crease and then I'll blend across. I'm just using windshield wiper motions and circular motions to blend out that shadow and today's look we're keeping it really simple. I'm just using three shadows to create our smoky eye. We want to start with a nice light transition shade. I'm going for a cool tone smoky eye today so I've chosen a nice light matte grey and I'm just really giving that a good blend out now. So once I'm happy with that first coating, I'm then going to add a touch more just to bump up the colour intensity. I'm happy with how it's faded upon first application, but I feel it can be a little bit more intense. So I'm just applying and blending a little more of this shadow now on the outer edge of the eye and just giving it a really good blend. I'm switching to a smaller smudger brush now. This is just a double-ended brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. And I'm blending that same shadow down along the lower lash line, bringing it right into that tear duct. And once I've no product left of my brush, I'm going to run along the edge of that shadow and blend that slightly downwards to fade it out and give us a nice smoky appearance. So once we've our transition shade on there, I want to add a bit of sparkle now onto the lid so I'm taking that light shadow the first shade on the bottom row and I'm using a flat C shaped brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and I'm bringing it across the lid right across to meet the grey so you can apply this shade dry or you can use a bit of water spritzed onto your brush or some setting spray if you have that to hand to make those shimmery particles pop a bit further so lastly then we're going to define, so I'm taking a matte black, uh, the bottom shadow in the palette on the first row and I'm picking this up on a flat C shaped brush from Sedona Lace. This is a nice and small brush so I can be a bit more precise with my application. We don't want to go overboard with the black so I'm using a smaller brush so that I have more control. And this shadow is just going to add a bit of depth to the look. So I've started by tapping it down at the lash line. I'm then raising my brush up higher to connect it up to the crease. And then I'm fading that shadow slightly outwards, keeping this to the outer V of the eye. And you don't need to blend it up really high in the crease either because we do have that grey there. And if you blend out the black, it's going to transition to a similar colour to the grey anyway. So we don't actually need to worry too much about the blending. I'm now taking an angled brush and I'm going to tap a little bit more of that black now just at the lash line on the outer corner of the eye followed then by taking it down along the lower lash line and I'm just tapping and pressing it just about halfway across the lash line and once I've packed that shadow on there I'm then going to go back to that smudger brush and I'm running this along the edge of that black just to fade and smoke it out. So I can do only so much with that angled brush you can apply it and you can pull the color down but I really do think you need a little bit more of a fluffier brush just to get that nice soft smoky feel. I'm then taking the number seven black eye pencil and I'm using this to coat the waterline. I'm just running the pencil inside the eye just to give us a nice smoky appearance. And what I like to do then is I like to go back to that angled brush with a little bit more of that black eyeshadow on the top of it. And I just press this down onto the waterline and down into the lashes. And this will just intensify the pencil, make it jet black, and it'll also seal it in place so it lasts the duration of the day. 
I'm then adding some Eyelore lashes in the style 117. They're the fluttery light lashes. And then I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara just to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and to define the lower lashes. And that's it. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I'll catch you all really soon.